I've been watching Aaron Cleary recently, and I saw a video where he was talking about the fact that the ops just don't like men nowadays, and they never did. And you know what? I agree with him because if you look at what's going on now and how the ops treat men when they no longer need us, they treat us like filth, crap, like we're maggots and worms of the earth, and nobody can deny that. To this day, I will never forget the delete all men movement that was spreading on Twitter a few years ago and the amount of women that supported that movement. They really do hate men from the bottom of their hearts, and it can be proven very easily by looking at how they treat men overall when they gain their independence and outturn the average and below average men. Just like how you know how a person really feels and thinks about you when you are down bad or worse off, and they're doing better and more successful than you, it's the same thing with the ops. Look closely at how they treat men after they gain their independence and make more than many men, and that's how you know who they really are, and judging by their behavior, it's clear to me that some of them hate us, most of them dislike us and a very small percentage of them like and care about us. You guys can choose to believe me or not, but all you have to do is go back a few years to the height of the womanist agenda when the economy was stable and booming and look at what they were saying about men and how they treated us. In those few years, you guys saw who the ops really were, and they unapologetically showed their true thoughts and intentions for all the world to see. So nothing I say should be a surprise because it's all documented on social media, so I know I'm right. Again, some of them hate us, most dislike us, and a very small percentage of modern women genuinely like men regardless of whether they make more money than us or not. So before you decide to go back into the dating landmine and get your boo, ask yourself who this woman is because she might be acting like she's all about you when she really hates men. Remember, we are in one of the toughest economic times of recent decades right now, and many of the ops can't make it on their own like back in 2019 before the pandemic. So it's safe to say that these people will do whatever it takes to survive, even if that means playing a role to get what they want and acting like they are good, traditional, feminine women, and they're not. The reason why I'm saying all this is to make you guys aware that the time that you were spending trying to approach the ops, chasing them, developing yourselves, trying to date, worrying about why they won't text you back and feeling sorry for yourselves that you're single and can't get any happy center is wasted on these people. Let me be clear. The ops are actively choosing to ignore most of you guys and be everything you don't want them to be. It's a choice most of them are making, nobody is forcing them to be against men and be everything that most men don't want, and I'm even here to tell you that if you're losing and dating, it's not your fault. If you aren't a bum, take care of yourself, are financially independent and keep in relatively decent shape, and can't get a woman or access to women, it's not your fault. You were just born in the wrong time for family and meaningful relationships because today, men are forced to fish in sewers for a mate. Shout out to Aaron Cleary. The harsh truth is that men today are fishing in the sewers for partners, and many of your dating problems are not your fault. I'm only talking about regular men who have their ish together. If you're choosing to be less than, have zero ambition, and don't care about life, then it's no surprise that the ops don't want you, and if I had a daughter, I wouldn't let you have her either unless you got your life together. But for the average everyday man who makes thirty to $50,000 a year and you're in shape, self-sufficient, in decent shape, isn't gump and is a genuinely good person, your problems in dating aren't your fault, it's the woman. The quality of the ops right now is rock bottom and the worst it has ever been in the history of America, highly likely so don't beat yourselves up. You're just in the wrong era for what you want and unless you adjust and adapt, you will waste your life on people who deserve the bare minimum for what they're offering men in today's day and age. And look, this video is not going to be me deriding men to make them feel better about themselves because I'm holding everybody accountable, including myself, but the truth is undeniable. The ops are the biggest problem in dating, not men, and men who aren't losers and weak. It's not your fault. I know it's not your fault because the moment you guys go on an airplane, you come back to the States a new man. I'm not saying to go overseas because a lot of demons are over there too, but the ones who treat you better prove that the ops back in your homeland can treat you better but are choosing not to do it because they don't like or need you. If the ops overseas gain their independence and decide to follow the womanist agenda, they will become just like what you guys are running from highly likely. I know this because I've lived in a third world womanist infested country, and they act just like the ops in America. Many of them think they are strong, independent and don't need a man, just like the women in America, and they go after the top-tier men and tyrones just like in the States. And these are women who don't have big daddy government to leech off of acting like American women, just because they have a degree and a decent job, so keep that in mind. With that said, now it's time to tackle the men because I know many of you are lost and feel like giving up because you don't have the opportunity to get your personal good woman and raise a family anymore. 
I get it. Sometimes I feel a little lost and sometimes I feel like maybe a good woman and a family would be great. I get it. We're all human and have programming designed to push us towards procreating and populating the earth. However, the time that we live in today and going forward is not for family and love for most men, and we can't depend on women and family to give our lives meaning and purpose. Get that out of your mind, gents. As a matter of fact, give up on that pipe dream because most of you are never going to get any of that because, number one, by the time you get a woman with the amount of experimenting and throttling she's going to go through, she'll never be able to love you, and number two, even if you create a family, the ops are going to destroy it for their own selfish gain and have a step dummy raise your kids out outside your presence. So I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news and a dream shatterer, but it's over as it relates to love and family. And remember, most of the ops won't love you even if they're not a CC rider, so keep that in mind. Even undefiled women won't love you in today's day and age, and I know this based on personal experience. So what are men supposed to do, you might ask? Well, do whatever the hell you want and live your life on your terms as long as it doesn't involve pedestalizing the divine feminine, hurting yourselves, hurting others, doing anything illegal and neglecting your finances and health. Make your own purpose and don't look towards the ops or having kids to give your life's purpose. If you guys want to give up on dating and relationships and help others less fortunate, go ahead and do it. If you guys want to sit at home and play video games, do it as long as you have your finances and health in order and are financially independent. If you want to be on monk mode indefinitely and never bet another woman, then do it. As long as you're mentally and physically healthy, continuing to make as much money as possible and aren't hurting yourself or others, then do whatever you want. It's your one life, so spend it however you want to. I really don't care about what men do as long as it doesn't hurt themselves or other people. I just want to know that you guys are saving towards your retirement, have your finances and health in order and have a plan for long-term health care because you'll need someone to wipe your rear end when you can't do it anymore. I don't want you guys to work until you croak because you neglected your responsibilities. I'm definitely not going to make any excuse for the lazy ninjas who don't want to work. I won't care about any of you if you choose to be underachievers and willingly mess up your life in retirement because you chose to give up and opt out of the system. Get your lazy butt to work and stop complaining because you can't get someone to come over and drop that good good on you. If you're offended because I'm telling you to take care of yourselves, leave this channel right now and go somewhere else because I despise men who waste their lives and end up begging for help when reality hits them square in the face and they run out of time. Get your butts to work and stop complaining. We don't need any more leeches and parasites in society making things worse for the rest of us. Remember that this is your one life, gents, after this, there's nothing when the Grim Reaper comes for you. So while you're here, what about living life instead of waiting to die? I can't believe we have men, including myself, I'll roast myself too, I don't care. But I can't believe I and other men were so dumb that we risk and sacrifice our lives for people who don't like or care about us. Gents, you guys are worried about people that hate and don't like you. I want you to let that sink in. These people don't deserve your time, energy, attention and money when they don't like you and treat you like crap. That's my opinion on the current dating marketplace. So do yourselves a favor, forget about the ops and live your damn lives on your terms. That's my advice to you guys. We live in a selfish and evil world, so we must adapt and become selfish and go our own way to survive and do what's in our best interest because they don't have our best interest at heart. And you know what? They never did. Click the video on the screen to see more hardcore and brutal RP content that the system doesn't want you to see.